It's on. It's already? Okay. Yeah. So right here we just pulled that possum out. You can see that on Tony's video. And this is the remake. You can see here's my hole, here's my trap. <clears throat> and I've got a... Y'all always remember this outside jaw here is a free jaw. But here you can see I've put some uh, polyfill underneath the pan. That's the pan. I've leveled the pan off with the jaws. And uh, now we're going to stick her back down in the ground. And you don't have to baby with these things. You can put your weight on them. You're not going to break nothing. But what you want to do is you want to get this trap to where you can tap all the way around it. Except the pan. Yeah, except the pan. <laughs> you can just take it around the jaws and you can push that dirt down around the uh, levers here. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't care what animal it is, keep your trash out of it. I don't care what animal it is, if they feel that trap underneath their feet, they're going to dig it up. If it wiggles, they'll know it. And that's pretty steady there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. The reason why I put that polyfill there is so this dirt don't go up underneath that pan and prevent it from firing. I'm having to get my dirt from over here. You'd think being in the woods you'd have all kind of dirt. And as you can see, he's almost about got it covered up. Not quite. I want to know where my pan is. And I'll show you why here in a little bit. Because you want to go around that, you want all this dirt around that trap to be solid. You can even hit around it. Because if, if that animal steps here and that dirt is loose, he's going to start digging. He thinks he's got a grub or something in there digging around and he thinks he can get a free meal and then he, he's going to find that trap. And you won't know where that pan is because you don't want to stick your finger in it. Make sure you keep all the trash cleaned out of it. I like to take and come back and kind of blend that spot in a little bit to make it look like I ain't been here so bad. Go back on that pad some. A few leaves. And a clump of dirt ain't gonna hurt real bad unless it's a big clump. You don't want no rocks, no sticks. You don't really want a whole lot of these pine needles. But a few's alright. Don't even have that. Uh, what you need? The, uh, oh, the bait and the that. Rod. Where's the bait at? It's in one of them side pockets. All right, we're here. You're going to have to hold the camera down. <laughs> okay. Tony's digging my bait out for me. Yeah, that's one of the spoons I'll be using. All right. <coughs> there you go. Is that what you're... Yeah, but let me have that bait, that big bottle down there, too. 
what I'm using here is a, this is the lure. It's Caven Violator 7. And it's got a beautiful, sweet smell to it. It smells just like a skunk. And then I'm using the Dunlap Rage Predator bait. And uh, I let Tony have the camera back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you know my pan right here. And I'm going to come over, uh, away from that pan about three inches. That's close to where I had mother hole, mother bait hole. If you ever smell that rage, you won't forget it. <laughs> oh, man, I just caught a whiff. Now you made me breathe and get a whiff of it. Well, there you go. I don't want to have it all to myself. Yeah. And you don't really need a whole lot of this. Trust me. You just drop that right down in that hole. I'm going to leave that lay right there for a minute. I'm going to do it just like we did yesterday. I think we did it on this one, didn't we? Put the polyfill down in there with it. I think you maybe. I think you did. I can't remember. I know we did it on one of them, for sure. But I'm going to take a little bit of polyfill. It kind of be as a something for them to look down there and see, and it'll make that stay a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna take me a stick, and I'm gonna shove that down in there. Trust me, they'll smell that now. And when they look down in that hole and they see that little white fur looking stuff. They're going to be going, oh buddy, it's dinner time. They'll think they got them something. And then I'm going to take this uh, violator. And if you'll notice on that tree right there, that, that. If you see that wet where it's run down there, that's a little bit what we had in there last last night um, when we caught this possum. And this just gives it something to carry, that let the wind carry out a little bit further. It's kind of a call lure. But I just take it, I wipe it on that tree, and then I'll just take the shove that stick back down in that hole. And I'm going to tell you right now, that smells worse than the last stuff. Does smell like a skunk. Just like a skunk. It's a gag of maggot, I'm telling you. And this thing is, as soon as I get my butt up, it's done. Now, I may leave this on record so y'all can watch that. <laughs> <laughs> we may need some entertainment factor here. But I will turn it off before I get my behind up. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and not do that to him. Well, guys, we'll see y'all on the next set. Hopefully, we'll have some fur on it. Um, y'all take it easy.